today on Locked on Rockies. It's here. It's finally happened. It's a hundred losses. What does that mean overall? And can we really expect things to change? You are Locked on Rockies, your daily Colorado Rockies podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Rock On Rockies fans, welcome into the Locked On Rockies podcast for today, the 27th day of September in the year 2023. I am the host of the Locked On Rockies podcast, Paul Holden, bringing you your daily Colorado Rockies talk right here on the Locked On Podcast Network, where you can find your team every day. And if your team is the Colorado Rockies, well, guess what? You're in the right spot because that's what we do around here each and every day. Uh, we are on your favorite streaming services. We're also on the Locked On Rockies YouTube channel, where you can find all of the videos, all of the coverage and such and such there you can also find us on sirius xm and the sirius xm app and on sirius xm you can check us out there it will be great uh let's see where to begin for today i and you know i just want to put the disclaimer out there it's a similar vein and maybe i can't avoid the topic maybe we should dive more into the fact that the rockies got completely clubbed by the Dodgers yet again, uh, leading to another loss to them because they've only beaten the Dodgers twice this year. Maybe we could, we, we, you want to focus on the X's and O's and such. But I want to focus again on the fact that this milestone has been reached. And the fact is, when we think about it, and given the history of this team, given the moves that's been made, Given the current system that's in place, we still wonder what is to come from this. Because this this could be a standard. I, I mean, again, remember, ownership, beginning of the year, 500 ball. Now, the, the team that finished the season is a lot different than the team that started. Injuries are already being leaned on. Bud Black avoiding the 100 loss question last night and then mentioning how many injuries they've had. And it's true. It's fair. The Rockies are a of of the Rockies avoid a hundred losses if their starting pitching rotation stays healthy. I'll give you that. By how much? I don't know. Because we've gotten a look at this Rockies. We we got a look at how the Rockies were constructed. Basic a, a good look at how the, at what this team basically was. I mean, miss at at one point it was basically just missing Brendan Rodgers and the people that you had and the reliance that you had on some of these players and the veterans that you chose to that 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 you stuck with and went with and the commitment made to those players at the beginning of the season instead of a season where you could have sold and uh, you know at at another time and, and and made different moves. But you do fast forward to the trade deadline. You look at this team. They do make the moves. They do punt on the season. You do get encouraged. But overall. In the grand scheme of things, again, as I'm reminded by watching the Rockies get throttled by the Dodgers yet again, the gap still seems so wide. Why? It's because, well, how much faith am I really supposed to have in this organization and in this team that's only hired from within to navigate this part of the season? While I am encouraged that this team has done something they don't often do at the trade deadline, is that the only thing I'm supposed to hold this team to? I mean... This team also hasn't been able to build up starting pitching depth. It hasn't been able to work and 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 keep a lot of key players healthy. And I and I know that's not a, something you can only blame on them, but it's 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 just if you're gonna say that that's an issue, then I'd also like to get a little bit more insight into what's going on with the injuries and the issues the Rockies are facing because there's a lot of them. There's a lot of questions that still remain for the organization itself. There are things to look at on the field and be encouraged by, and we've talked a lot about those, and we have a whole offseason to dive into that. But continuing to reflect on 100 losses is just staring the issues of the organization in the face and hoping an, an organization that really has no incentive to change as a business and a, a history of not changing, not embracing something different, not mixing up the deck, not 
actually embracing act uh, rebuilds like other teams do and you sit there and you and you wonder is this really going to work out because now it unfortunately just feels like any at least throughout the first 30 years of, of rocky's history it's just been a couple lucky stretches that have saved an otherwise long stretch of mediocre to bad baseball and since the trade of Nolan Arenado, the Rockies have played mediocre to bad baseball. And that trade's going to be four years old next year. I am encouraged by the fact that the Rockies have exciting young players. I am encouraged by the fact that there are things to enjoy about this team. But truly, as this team is, is looking upon itself and reflecting and and asking itself the, the questions they have to be i mean there's nobody that's happy about how this season's panned out but it, are we going to get an off season of 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 commitment are we going to get an off season of change are we going to get an off season where the rockies don't want to make a hundred losses the norm or are we going to get the rockies that lean on the the on just the injury issues lean on their other excuses and lean on these other fact and and their usual talking points and statements and stances because deep down i think it's the latter i think it's this team really has to ask itself a lot of questions this team just seems so far behind and it's like i mean not so much this year but in the in the past and when they've talked about rockies trades and so much analysis of the rockies is what the rockies don't know what they're doing what are the rockies doing what's this plan what is this and 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 i'm seeing that there is some plan there i'm seeing the benefit of 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 some of their vision in some of these players i mean trading for nolan jones this year was was one of the best moves in baseball I mean, I, I, truly, the Rockies made a trade to get one of the best rookies in the game. And and, and credit there, I, I, that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to layer in the changes and the positive stuff we did see from the Rockies this year as an organization, but I'm not going to, but I can't cut them that much slack because of the history, because of the other, how the team has handled other stretches how the team has been run and managed of late and the end result on the field this team has lost 100 games and it's staring 2024 in the face already of what are you going to do about the starting pitching depth you re-sign herman marquez great but he's not going to pitch until over halfway through the season same with Antonio Sensatella and Antonio. Can you really count? I mean, these are unfortunately for both of them. These are big time surgeries that we're going to have to see from these guys. And if you want to be like the Reds or some of these other teams that are ahead of schedule, I don't know, maybe a certain team in your division, Arizona pitching is going to be a, a key factor in that. And this organization has just not shown enough to say, Hey, we can, we can build a bullpen that will sit well that will sustain itself for an entire season and a starting pitching rotation that will that, will, that they've done it for two seasons and even the super bullpen and even in those seasons and even in those times the bullpen wasn't that great can the rockies put it together in the wake of this the rockies have navigated themselves to this point can, can we really ultimately trust them them to navigate out of it, especially when it's a lot of people running the show that have been within the organization for a while? It's a lot of people with ties to Dick Momford. I mean, teams lose 100 games. Every, it, it happens. And this wouldn't be that big of a deal. It really wouldn't to me. If we didn't start this year, just like we started every other year for what seems like forever, Dick Momfort coming out saying, we can play 500 ball. It was abundantly clear this team wasn't going to be playing 500 ball. 
it was abundantly clear that the rest of the division was much better. I didn't think the Rockies were going to be this bad, but I did not think the Rockies were going to be good this year, even if they stayed healthy. And, and, and I said, success with the Rockies is going to be directly tied to that. And it didn't happen. Other teams get hurt and navigate them. There's depth there. There's call-ups there. The Dodgers are going into the playoffs relying on an incredibly young pitching staff. But they're a bunch of exciting, young, pitching, great prospects. The Dodgers don't get high draft picks all the time. They, they have been able to manage being a top team that pays a lot of money, that is competitive all the time, while also builds a farm system. Yes, it's L.A., but again, I am I am not a believer in, in downplaying the size of the Denver market and the region of, of, of the country that the Denver teams can serve. The, it, it is massive. And it's growing and it's a and it's people from all over, including how many people travel in. We already know the away people come to Coors. But it's just still, I mean, everything circles back to can we trust this organization to get on track? And, and I bring up the Dodger example because it just looks like the Rockies will never spend as much as the Dodgers. They won't make as much as the Dodgers. And I get that. I'm not, it's not a one for one comparison, but I'm saying the Rockies have more similarities with the Dodgers and what they're able to do resources, money, exposure, all those stuff. The Dodgers have been able to keep the cycle building and growing and have been able to maintain themselves. The Rockies have not. The Rockies dealt with a rash of injuries this year and they finished the worst season in franchise history. Bud Black can dodge the question all he wants, but that is a real deal thing. And it's a thing at a moment where that is just continues to plummet interest in this team. And, and, and fandom of this team. And so I want to talk about coming up here in segment number two. It's gone long in segment number one. I keep doing that a lot. But that's okay. I, I'm just very, I know I'm very much on my soapbox these last few episodes. But, it, I mean, it's just on my mind of, of just how frustratingly weird I feel as a Rockies fan. And I'm just in this weird spot and place. And I wanted to talk about, you know, calling on dick to sell and and, and things like that i want to i want to have a conversation about that next here coming up as we're, we're continuing to talk about the the big picture stuff in the future with the colorado rockies let's do that in segment number three but before we do that got to tell you about neutrophil uh and uh this is going to be key for guys out there like me that uh are pretty cautious about their hair and uh also pretty cautious about their health or want to be cautious about those things. You don't have to choose between better hair growth and your health. Nutrafol provides a whole body health approach for men that promotes healthier hair. No drugs, no compromises, just better hair. Did you know that 80% of men will experience hair thinning in their lifetime? It's normal, but it doesn't have to be your fate. You can get ahead of thinning with Nutrafol. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve your hair growth, visible thickness, and visible scalp coverage. Nutrafol's health growth supplements use physician formulated natural science-backed ingredients. Their drug-free patented technology provides con consistent, reliable results without compromising your sexual health. Go to Nutrafol.com slash men to take their health hair health wellness quiz to identify causes of your thinning hair and not only that when you go to Nutrafol you can take the first step to visible thicker healthier hair for a limited time Nutrafol is offering our listeners ten dollars off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com slash men and enter the promo code locked on MLB find out why over 4,000 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for their healthier hair for healthier hair Nutrafol.com slash men n-u-t-r-a-f-o-l.com slash men and enter promo code locked on MLB that's Nutrafol.com slash men promo code MLB. This is the Locked On Rockies podcast for free and streaming on your favorite streaming services, bringing you your daily Colorado Rockies talk right here on the Locked On Podcast Network. 
Thank you for making us your first listen of the day. Thank you for checking out Locked on Rockies on the YouTube channel. And thank you for checking us out on SiriusXM and the SiriusXM app where you can catch your Rockies play-by-play coverage for the rest of the season. They got your postseason coverage there as well. And um, so I don't be, it's, it's weird. I, I, I don't know if you folks feel the same way. And maybe it's because I, I, I do the show and I, I still watch. I mean, it's just my mind is just in such a weird spot with the Rockies. It's just a, a I don't want to just be, I don't want to lean into just being a, a downer. And the realities, because they, I do like some of the things I'm seeing, and 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 there are things to be encouraged by, and 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 the season's almost over, and they can fresh slate, and who knows what the Rockies can do? It's an off season; they can they can change and maybe do whatever they want. You know, there's there's, it's it's an off season. Who knows? But it's just hard for me to move on from all of, from the past. I mean, this is a this was a celebratory year, that's going to go down as the most losses in history. And just go down as a as a big thud. I mean, it's 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 when I see Rocky's Twitter and when I see, I mean, it's just such a bummer. I mean, the bubbling excitement and what could have been and what was brewing at Coors and what would have been going through hopefully this entire stretch, even the ups and downs, the the potential was great. And it was something as a, as as a diehard Rockies fan, I was I'm, I I I think about because it's a bummer. It's a bummer that things have, have have panned out this way, and it's a bummer that things have just been trajecting downwards. Because with all of the high and mighty and blustery talk we've heard from from the from the uppity ups of the Rockies, it's this team has lost has has gone on a on a losing path for three seasons now. And has now hit a rock bottom of the worst season ever. So, how, you know, how are we supposed to feel? How are the people that uh, that that do watch or listen to every game? How are we supposed to feel about everything? Are we are, are we really supposed to sit here as we're reflecting on thirty years of Rockies baseball this season and, and, and say that wow? We have a ton of confidence in this team turning things around and getting back into action and getting back into into the playoffs and competing for a World Series. Now, as we're looking at the current state of things and as we're reflecting and looking on the past. And it's you can maybe see a framework, you can maybe see a skeleton, you could see some potential. But then when a team like the Dodgers rolls in, it serves as that ever-present reminder. That's the team you have to beat. That team. Freddie Freeman's going to break Todd Helton's double record. They have two MVPs. Their starting pitching staff looks a heck of a lot different at this point of the year. But it's headlined by young guys that are getting the job done. And veterans that can do everything. It's a team that leads in statistical categories, not is at the bottom of statistical categories. Done a lot of comparing the Rockies to the Dodgers. And again, I know that's not a fair comparison, but in the division, they are the top dog. So you have, I mean, it, it's it, you have to compare them. It does not matter. They play and match up way too frequently for you not to sit there and have to look and compare these two teams. I mean, it's a it's a whole other plane. And so some people said, the, I mean, and, and this is true. Really the best option for the Rockies if this, if to bring a dramatic sweeping change to the Rockies won't happen. And that's, the sell the selling of the team the team is not getting sold there is no way that the momfords are moving on from this there's no way that they're moving on from the rockies anytime soon i mean we are stuck with the, the, the like here's here is the deal the momfords aren't going anywhere 
And I mean, I, I, I think calling for selling, you know what, do if, if that's the keep doing it, I have a shirt. It's, it's, well, it's covered up back there that says sell the team. I am with you. Sell the team. But when we have to unfortunately put our put the put the lens of real life back on, it's never going to happen. It's prime real estate. It's prime money making. It's prime investment. It's an asset that only increases in value. I just have to. I I just hope though, and, and I don't know if it will. But the reputation of the Rockies should mean something. And Dick Mumford should be someone that should be really concerned and really cautious and really want to work on the reputation of his ball club. The Rockies have a terrible reputation within the league. The Rockies have a terrible national perception. The Rockies have a terrible perception on social media. Not the, not the account. I'm just saying when, when people interact with when you talk about rockies when you when when mlb posts highlights or rockies news when you look at the at the feedback and the interaction about the rockies on the websites and the things of that nature it is not positive it does not benefit the rockies whatsoever to maintain this status quo and I am worried that this will continue to be the status quo. I am worried that this team isn't going to go into this offseason where you have to make changes. The worst season in franchise history just happened. Somebody's got to get replaced. Something's got to happen. Something's got to change. Or you got to be going full court press to bring in some impressive players to build on this core because there's nothing here that's telling me that says, hey, this team is going to handle the early the 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 early contracts and the early success of Nolan Jones and Ezekiel Tovar, Brendan Rodgers and including your extensions and your contract of Chris Bryant, Herman Marquez and Ryan McMahon. Charlie Blackman could factor in there as well. This team stuck with some of these players. This team went out and got Chris Bryant. Where are we going? Is there, because right now, post Bryant signing, post Aaron Auto trade, post losing Story, post losing John Gray, post losing the playoff team, this team has lost more and more and more. So are we really to sit here and believe that this team is going to make a lot of changes this offseason? I don't think so. Who is going to be held responsible for this season? It's going to be chalked up and left to injuries. That's what's going to happen. Do we really believe the Rockies will make a change at pitching coach, hitting coach, manager? No, they've extended Bud Black. There's been no indications that I've seen, at least, of the Rockies making any sort of coaching changes. They just brought in a new hitting coach. This team hasn't done anything as an organization to match the somewhat positive optimism that we're seeing from young players on the field. Because how am I supposed to sit here and feel confident that if this team's able to get themselves back to relevance while these players are still on the roster, that they're going to do what they need to do to make it consistent, to make it sustainable, to make it so losing and being a laughing stock of Major League Baseball isn't the status quo because that's the current status quo of the Colorado Rockies. Being losers in the standings and being a bad front office. What are they really going to do to change it? Question: The answer to that question, I have no idea. No idea. Okay. A lot of ranting, I know, but that I mean, it's just where I'm at. I mean, I mean, do we really need to dive into that second game all that much? I mean, that's that's the 2023 Rockies. Great, they got the first one, but they're the Dodgers. They're really good. Uh, let's 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 maybe, I don't know. Let's vent positively. Let's just break it down. Uh, 
you know, like that. Let's just, I don't know. Let's 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 try to put a bow on things. <laughs> I guess this is where I'm at. I've even gotten myself all crisscrossed with how much ranting and raving I've done on today's episode. Uh, but let's let's at least take a look at the game. Let's let's take a look at what we've liked and uh, let's highlight the fact that uh, the Rockies do have a really special rookie here coming up in segment number three. Uh, before we do that, modern medical treatments are important, and you never want to be without your supplies when you need them uh things like pandemics natural disasters and foreign travel may cut you off from the treatment you need jace medical is your solution just fill out their online form and one of jace medical's board certified physicians will review it to determine whether medications are safe and appropriate then jace will send your prescriptions to one of their partner pharmacies where your order will be filled and mailed directly to your home you can also send your physician a message for answers to treatment related questions at any time everyone should be empowered to care for themselves and their loved ones during the unexpected expected that's why jace medicals offers the jace case save more than 360 dollars by getting uh, antibiotics with jace medical plus an additional 20 dollars off by using the code locked on at checkout on jacemedical.com that's j-a-s-e medical.com this is the locked on rockies podcast for free and streaming on your favorite streaming services bringing you your daily colorado rockies talk thank you so much for making us your first listen of the day, checking us out on Sirius XM as well. Went kind of long in my first two segments as uh, my ranting often does. But, uh, man, I, I do think, though, as we're talking about this season being one that will go down as a, a season of infamy, uh, one thing, though, hopefully we're looking back on as uh, he's hoisting a trophy for the Colorado Rockies at some point in his time in purple is the trade and the acquisition of Nolan Jones. Nolan Jones is legit. Nolan Jones fits Coors Field blueprint so well. And Nolan Jones is going to hit 20 home runs. He's going to get that watch from Chris Bryant, which I thought was a cool, fun challenge and a great way. And, and someone that you didn't really know what to expect, hasn't had the same amount of opportunity as everyone this year and has impressed throughout his time. I mean, he's, he's played enough of Major League time for us to get to know and understand and what he's done defensively and what that means for the Rockies. I mean, just to... to we to 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 kind of bring back what we've talked about it, another example last night of the impact of nolan jones in the outfield and the arm getting outs at home getting uh, i believe now he has a new record that he said I'm, I'm drawing a blank on what that was or a tied for a record uh amongst rookies but he's also limiting the runners that can go home he's also uh being able to punish it, it, it's it's man power hitting and a great outfield defender is just such a money pick for Coors Field. When we're when we're when we're looking for the things to be encouraged by, I'm I mean that guy. If if he just we're hoping the health is there because this team, the hitting core, like we talked a little bit about yesterday on on yesterday's show. When you're looking at one through six for this Rockies team at, at some points, it's it's not gonna knock your socks off. But it could get to that potential if we see the offense improve from from these players, and, and which we're we're hoping it does, especially in the terms of of cutting back on strikeouts. But the core of that uh, of that highlighted by the fact that Nolan Jones could be developed, like if he can hit twenty this year in the limited time, like is, is it really crazy to think that if the Rockies had Nolan Jones all season? that 30 home maybe he doesn't hit 30 but it may be flirting with 30 and 30 home run hitters are something the rockies desperately need back because that would be that it's going to be crucial because if they can start hitting getting those guys that are hitting more home runs the rockies will be less plagued by their home runs being minimally impactful by the amount of solo and and few people on base home runs they hit and I think Nolan Jones is going to be a guy that leads the leads the way and leads uh, and and uh, bring that home for the Rockies. I think I think next year there's a good chance that Nolan Jones flirts with 30 home runs. Uh, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode of Locked On Rockies. Thank you so much for joining us and tuning in today. We appreciate all your support here on your favorite streaming services and on the Locked On Rockies YouTube channel. Your subscription there is the best way to help the show grow. You can check out all sorts of great Colorado podcasts on the Locked On Podcast Network, including the Locked On Broncos, Avalanche, Nuggets, and Buffs. 
all available for your second listen of the day. Until next time, this is Paul Holden saying so long from the Locked on Rockies podcast.